Αν νομίζετε ότι ο Γιάννης Αδετοκούμπο συγκέντρωσε όλα τα βλέμματα πάνω του, στην Media Day της Team Γιάννης είστε γελασμένοι. Η καταγωγή του Στεφ Κάρι από την Σάρλοτ της Βόρειας Καρολίνας δημιούργησε το αδιαχώρητο δίπλα του με τουλάχιστον 40 κάμερες και 100 δημοσιογράφους. Εμείς πάντως την κάναμε την προσπάθειά μας. Για πάμε! That's it. So uh, we'd like to run it back from last year. We were on the same team, obviously. I picked him first. We, uh, it was a fun game last year. Came down to the wire. But uh, this year we're going to get it done. So uh, not yet. I need to ask him, you know, what's up? Where's my, where is my invite at? So maybe I, maybe I can go to, they'll show me a good time. Well, I just thought that criticism was always unfair. Um, uh, I think that uh, Russell is a player that uh, requires uh, so much attention out there on the basketball court that any player would want to play with that. Um, um, he brings uh, intensity and a, a passion that is uh, very rare in, in our sport. Um, but with me leaving, and it's such a huge deal to so many people who follow the game, um, they brought up this narrative that nobody likes him or nobody wants to be around him because of me. And that was always unfair to me, and I always thought that that was pretty ignorant. But, you know, I'm glad that, uh, you know, he's uh, going out there and playing well. He's still playing the same way, but more people are starting to realize what he brings. I'm not here to compare games. I'm just here to try to win games. Uh, obviously, we don't know how great those two guys are playing. Uh, and there's a few other guys that are playing extremely well. Like, there's a, there, this league is getting a lot better. And guys are, guy, I mean, like a guy like Kimber Walker was playing extremely well. You don't get a lot of recognition, but I'm just here to try to win games and, and figure it out. You know, it's, uh, I mean, you got teams like Milwaukee and, and Denver and teams that nobody really expected to be where they are today that are playing extremely well. So uh, it's going to be a great test in the second half. The NBA is a guard's game. And, uh, I think we, as long as you train and you do all the stuff to prepare yourself, you're going to have plenty of opportunity because We got the ball in our hands all the time. A lot of stuff is run through us. So um, I think part of it is the opportunity and then just preparing yourself, you know, the training, uh, taking care of yourself, you know, just being in, in good shape, having your mind in the right space, and, you know, you'll be all right after that. So um, I think that, that plays a, a huge part for me. A lot of us come from similar backgrounds, you know, tough neighborhoods, poverty. Um, some of us, uh, single parent homes. And then we kind of thrust into being famous, public figures, making a lot of money. And I think it's, it's a huge challenge um, dealing with you know, uh, family members and friends and people who kind of put the pressure of their lives on us. So we got to juggle our professional lives, um, our personal lives, and then other people's lives. So I think that's, that's a huge challenge. I mean, this year they're, they're number one in the East, and obviously, we, um, you know, if both of us go down to the, you know, conference finals, we'll have to pass them. But I'm focused on myself. I don't know what the odds are or anything like that. Was to be able to be the best team that you want to be, you focus on yourself and focus on the team.